right now, welcome to AC Custom Designs. Basically, it's a very short video, but I wanted to show you the next tips. We are now cutting out the drawers, okay? And so we're going to basically throw this piece in the middle. We'll just toss that. Um, if it were a bigger piece, I would make what we called nested drawers. Nested drawers. So there's uh, things you can do with your waist. But here, my friends, is the drawer. That's going to go more than likely um, on the bottom. So right here. So we'll glue that guy up. Let's have a look inside. Pretty cool finished product. Let's drop it down in there for now. It's uh, for safekeeping. Not so easy to do when you are videoing. <laughs> That's why I don't spend too much time uh, videoing things like I used to. Okay, so there you go. That's there's that drawer. And the tip I have for you, some I've got several tips. Um, first of all, make sure you have plenty of time when you're making these drawers. Okay, um, you're going to want to. Um, Mark all your pieces. So let's take this drawer as an example. I, I write F and an arrow. That means front, and that's the up. I write front on the the, uh, the block there. Okay. Now that's going to go away. But why? Why do I do this? And then the back, the back. And then if I turn it around, it says back up. Because life happens. Um, when I first started doing very intricate things like this, what would happen is I'd go away, I'd do a thing, I wouldn't come back to the next day, or everything got knocked over. You know, I have everything nice and orderly here, right? Correct? And so we're good. But what if I have to go away and come back again? Um, the good news about bandsaw boxes, uh, I might add, is they're always going to go back into the place they came out of um, at the end of the day. So you can always come back and say, oh, do you go there? Oh, no, you don't. Oh, look, you go there. Even though they look about the same size. So you got that going for you. But um, I have been there and done that where I uh, have lost pieces. I've had to make pieces, so on and so forth. Um, here's an example where I can't even find the... Uh, the front and the back that I cut off. So I'm going to have to figure out what I did there. Okay, so we've got one, two, three. Mystery man. So that'll be interesting to see where in the world it ended up. <laughs> Just going to do a real quick scan here. Nope, I don't see it. So that's always fun. But, you know, at the end of the day, if I have to, I can always cut this off again and make some new drawers. And I'll just put a blocker up in the back down there so that it only goes so far to equal um, this depth. There's always a way to do a thing. Now, this was pretty easy to do. What is the tip I'm going to share with you? When you come over, you're going to want to trace out where you're going to cut the, the, the carcass, the piece of waste out. Then you want to take your block and come up against your fence. You see the issue I'm going to have here? There's space at the bottom and no space at the top. The tip for you is adjust the table so that when you're cutting, you're cutting straight up and down. I've had too many apples out of that bag where I'm going to cut something. As you can see, look at this, how drastic this is for whatever reason. All right. So it's like this. Let's, let's turn this to the front. Okay. So we have that space on the bottom. Okay. You come over here. It's actually not too bad. So in your mind, you just have to say to yourself, hmm, give yourself. To, oh, let's do one more the back on the, the drawer I just cut out this is actually pretty good this is pretty parallel 
all right? But on the one I just cut out, it was kind of like this. I'm going to exaggerate, okay? It was like that. So basically what you're going to want to do, and it's going to be hard to do while I'm holding the camera, um, but you're going to take the piece, and you're going to say, you're going to draw, follow the curve, and just draw that line, okay? Sorry. <laughs> just follow the curve. Okay. So that's that tip. Have a lot of time, my friends. Don't rush these things. When you get to the intricate uh, bandsaw boxes, you want to take your time and you want to figure out your outs. What if something goes wrong? Something can go wrong. So have a backup plan. All right, now these are going to be very tricky. Look how skinny they are for starters. So what I'm going to want to do, and the other tip for you are these lines that I'm going to be following with, with the, uh, the blade, they're suggestions. I'm going to say that again. Those lines are suggestions. Don't force yourself to follow them, because if you do, you're going to possibly just screw up the whole stock and you have to make another one. I've been there, done that. So go uh, give yourself, well, how they say, proud. Be proud on your measurements. So give yourself more room than you think you could possibly need. Because at the end of the day, if you ruin the box, the drawer, you're, you're wasting your time. Um, but if you take your time, you think everything through, then you're going to save yourself. Each one of these is going to have a different story, okay? So I could take each one of these over there. Like I said, they're going to have a different story. So uh, hopefully you got some great tips on how to do these. I invite you to give me uh, questions. Please give me questions. This will be video number, I think, four, making a lot this evening. Another tip I would have for you is um, I did a video on this many years ago. This is what they call, this is a coast light. Just get, get some light going on here. Uh, this is a coast light. Got to hold it up to the light. It's, trust me, it says C-O-A-S-T. <laughs> Jeez, there we go. And it's a really versatile light. Not sponsored by Coast, okay? But look, the magnets are strong, probably rare magnets. And this thing can turn and flip completely around. In addition to that, this here moves as well. So that allows me to very quickly take the unit, ugh, go like that, turn it on. And it's got three different modes, by the way. Aim it, adjust it even more, like this. Isn't that cool? Yep, that's the coast light. All right, thanks for coming into the shops of Basic Custom Designs. I have to go make dinner. I got a day job. This is my night job. And I also do dinner, laundry, dishes, you name it. 24-7 type of guy. Thank you. Bye-bye.